In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to unblock the Pirates Bay and how to access it safely and securely. So if it is blocked in your country, don't worry, there are ways around this. So the first method of accessing the Pirates Bay is very easy. All you want to do is go to Google and you just want to type in Pirate Proxy. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and select on a proxy website, just like this one here. I'll leave a link in the description to this. And all you need to do is go ahead and click on any of these proxy servers. They're all pretty much the same, and that will take you straight to the Pirates Bay. Now, if these proxy websites aren't available in your country, I will shortly get onto another method of how to access the Pirates Bay. Now, there are a lot of downsides to these proxy servers, so you can make a decision on whether you want to use them or not. But mainly, they're really slow because they are free. So if you are planning on downloading large files, they can take two or three times longer to download. Not only that, but they're not very safe. They're like free VPNs, so they like to store traffic logs, and that's how these free proxy servers make their money. So to avoid the downsides, we're going to be using method number two, and that's by using a premium VPN. Now the premium VPN I like to use is called Private Internet Access, but of course you can go out there and do your own research and find out which is best for you. Now the reason why I like to use private internet access is because what I've just mentioned earlier, they don't store any traffic logs, so you're going to be truly anonymous online. Not only that, but they also have fast servers, and you can also use them on 10 different devices at once, so you can go ahead and download private internet access on your phone, mobile or tablet, and use it on there at the same time. Also, there's plenty of servers to choose from, with over 3,000 servers in 32 different countries, so it doesn't really matter what country you live in, there'll always be a server close by, so once we've got our VPN of choice, we just need to go ahead and open it up and you want to go ahead and select a server that's best for you. So you want to go ahead and click on the quickest server, so for example mine is UK Southampton, but if the Pirates Bay is blocked in that country, you just want to go ahead and select a server in another country uh, where it's unblocked and as you can see there are plenty to choose from. So once it's all activated, you want to go ahead and click on the big power button and you should get a new IP address and this is going to be your anonymous IP address you're going to be using online. So all we we'll want to do now is go to our web browser, make sure we load up in incognito mode for extra security, and you're just going to type in what's my IP, and what we want to do is make sure that this IP address here matches up with the one on our VPN, and if it does that means our VPN is working. So all we need to do now is go ahead and access the Pirates Bay just as we normally would, and if it makes you load on that means it's working and you're fully anonymous online and you're fully protected and you're ready to use the Pirates Bay for whatever you like. And there are two methods in order to access the Pirates Bay easily. Now obviously you can choose what method is best for you, but I personally like to use the VPN because you can not only use it for the Pirates Bay, but there are plenty of other things you can use a VPN for. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching and have a good day.